Hey guys, welcome to chat with your girl KFT. It's your girl K, and today we're talking Spice, the original queen of dancehall. But before we jump into Spice, I just do want to advise you if you're watching this on YouTube that this is um this is a podcast. So unfortunately, you won't be able to get any visuals for this podcast. But it's an amazing podcast, so stick around for the conversation. It will be fun. So nonetheless, let's talk. So the other day, Spice was really and truly caught up in some stuff where rumors were swirling that she went and she to go get plastic surgery. And when she went to go get plastic surgery, the plastic surgery went bad, causing her to be in a very, very bad space medically. Then when Spice was fully healed, not fully healed, was actually healing, she came out and said, nope, that's not what was going on with me. Those are lies told from the pit of hell. Um, essentially, I've just been having medical problems that is outside of surgery. And those medical problems are what took a toll on me. So what I want us to do is just listen together to what Spice evidently had to say about her experience. So let's listen. God is real and God saved my life. I died and I escaped it and I was given another chance. And that's all that matters to me right now. When you say that you got, they had to literally bring you back to life? Yes. The sepsis, the sepsis was attacking every organ in my body. I was basically on a liquid diet, actually, when I came from the hospital for a long while. I lost over 30 pounds because I couldn't eat at all for almost two months while I was in the hospital. I needed skin grafting because the sepsis had ate away my skin from my stomach so bad that he, you know, he told me that I needed skin grafting, like to patch out, take a picture of my skin from somewhere else to place it on my stomach. I couldn't walk. Um, I was... I wasn't able to walk. I actually couldn't even talk. <laughs> when I woke up out of what I woke up, you know, from, from the whole sepsis, I had tubes in my mouth um, that was helping me to breathe because like I said, the sepsis atta started attacking my organs. So it weakened my lungs. Um, and so I wasn't able to talk. I could not walk because the, my entire stomach was gone, okay? And then because they had bust my chest open to save my life, um, you know, that was very traumatic. And so I wasn't able to walk for a very long time. I had to do voice training to get back to this point where I'm, where I am, because after they took the tubes out, the tube was inside of me for over a week. And when they took it out, they told me that I wasn't able to talk for a while. Um, and so that alone was devastating because I love to talk. I chat enough. <laughs> when they told me I couldn't talk, I was trying to. And then I, when I realized that I really couldn't talk, and then I had to learn to take baby steps and start talk again. And then when I could talk, the first thing I tried to do was to sing one of my songs. And then when I realized that I couldn't sing it, I was devastated. Oh, oh, I feel so sorry to hear that that happened to Spice. So basically that's why you know it's never good to just listen to the rumors that circulate about a celebrity it's always good to listen to what they have to say from their mouth themselves because here i was thinking that yes she did do some kind of plastic surgery and the plastic surgery went wrong but she's saying no it has to do with sepsis and she it has to do with her own medical issues that she she was going through and her main focus isn't what brought her to the hospital or what brought her to that space her main focus is that she went through something tough she went and she fought a medical battle that not many can fight not many can win so you know all praises go to god thank you that she's in a much better space right now i feel like shout out to spice and it's always such an amazing thing and you can always tell when someone loves their craft the first thing she wants to do after waking up is sing one of her songs you know so it's like you know you can you can even get to see that she loves what she do and she does this she's the original queen of dancehall and have been the original queen of dancehall and, and and continues to do what she does like no one else can do so i just want to say shout out to spice and i just wish that her recovery she looks beautiful in that video by the way i just wish that her recovery will like you know continue to be on the up and up and she won't experience any delays or any battles or anything like that and just real quick that clip it came from the neighborhood talk and i think the neighborhood talk got it from tmz just to shout out the sources um in this video but anyway 
um if you're watching this on youtube share your thoughts and comments down below did you think it was like a spices issue was like a what surgery plastic surgery yeah plastic surgery gone wrong situation or did you know it was a sepsis situation and what are your thoughts about it and if you're listening to this on apple Podcasts or spotify we'll talk next time laters